सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो दिस इज बी मोहन कुमार एंड टूडे उल डिस्कस अबाउट द भेरियस प्रोसेसेस दैट इज एसोसिएटेड उथ योर एयर कंडिशनिंग प्रोसेस दैट इज योर कटिंग फ्लारिंग स्वेजिंग एंड ब्रेजिंग अलंग उथ इन अर्डर टू एलंगेट योर कपर ट्यूब उई हाव टू फलो टू मेथड वन इज योर टेम्पोरारी सेकेंड इज योर परमानेंट सो द टेम्पोरारी वन उई हाव टू फलो दिस यूनियन एंड फ्लारिंग मेथड and in order to your permanent joining process we have to follow the brazing process so from now onwards our ma student will discuss uh, the basic processes so please be with us till the end of this video hello everyone we are from wall school center bhubneshwar we are right now in rsc lab from mechanical and electrical services today we'll do the fabrication of copper tubing so for that we have our copper tubes these tubes are from 1 by 4 sizes mm dia and this is of 3 by 8 mm dia so first we'll do tube cutting so to do tube cutting we need a copper tube cutter and to get our desired length we need a steel rule and marker to mark the cuttings so right now we are doing just for practice so will take only 20 mm so to will mark on 20 mm for our cutting then we have to take the tube cutter and we have to open it's then we have to come close then we have to insert the tube in the tube cutter like this we have to adjust it to the desired length we have marked then we have to slightly give the feed okay. and we have to rotate the cutter like this and while rotating we have to slightly gently give feed to the cutter we have to be careful if we do hurry if we go much faster or if we give the extra feed it will bend the pipe it will not cut it properly so we have to be light while doing it hold you put down now we can see our cutting is done after cutting we have we have to clean the surface first we have to do filing for that we take a smooth file then we have to gently rub it on the smooth file because when we are cutting by using a tube cutter it will form a bent shape on the corner and the shape is uh, will be sharper so it will not be perfect for our uh, flaring and swaying process so we have to first file it a little bit then by using a rimmer we have to rim it in a uh, dia corner we have to clean it then after cleaning you can see still there are some sharp particles so for that we have to take a sandpaper then we have to rub it gently on the sandpaper to clean the cut now we can see our tube cutting is done it's an easy one so as we saw how to do the tube cutting now we'll see how to do the flaring process for that we need flaring tools so we uh, right now we have two different type of flaring tool first one is this and second one is this one so this one is a flaring tool but it's a cheaper one and it's a um most uh, high price one so it's uh, this one is self centering one so we'll use this one so for that first we have to set our flaring tool for that we have to insert the flaring tool the flaring block inside the flaring yoke then 
we will do the flaring process of 3 by 8 copper tube so as we can see the cutting and rimming is done it is smoothened so and this is the size of 3 by 8 we can see this side has a angle of 45 degree and another side is plain so for flaring we have to uh, take the 45 degree angle side to the upper side after that we have to insert our copper tube in the flaring block then we have to assure that the tube is up to the limit of the upper layer of the flaring block we have to check that there is a clearance it's not too much high after that we have to set the flaring yoke then we have to provide then we have to tighten it after tightening we have to provide feed gently while providing feed we do not have to uh, worry or we do not have to hurry up our process because if we do fa uh, more faster the tube will form crack so we have to provide the feed gently then we have to rotate the feed like this Still. now the fairing is done then we have to again rotate it and lock this to open now we can see our flaring is properly done so as we have completed our flaring and tube cutting so now we'll do the sweezing process so sweezing is needed to do the uh, brazing of copper tubes so brazing is a process of joining copper tube and sweezing is done before doing brazing brazing is required to insert the same diameter of copper tube inside one and another so for that we have to take a length of the diameter of the tube that we are using we have to insert the same length of the uh, tube diameter inside one and another so we have first this is a 3 by 8 tube and we can see here for 3 by 8 we have to insert up to 9.52 mm so th that is 10 we can take for that we will take at least 12 to 13 mm length because 10 mm would be the depth of the sweezing part and 2 to 3 mm for the clearance gap so for that we'll take the sweezing or uh, flaring block we have to lose it then we have to fit the copper tube in the sweezing block after fitting we have to check it again that is it 10 mm or not now we can see it is 10 mm so we'll tighten it then we need a sweezing tool before doing sweezing we have to use oil and the sweezing tool then we have to put the sweezing tool and then we have to hammer it gently by using a hammer now our sweezing part is done we can see now the part is swollen we can insert another copper tube of same diameter inside this tube so we'll now do how to checking that our sweezing or flaring is done perfectly so for that we have to measure that if this uh, 
as we saw that swaying we have to insert the tube of same diameter insert so it is up to 9.53 mm so we uh, we have to insert up to 10 mm inside so we can see the swaying part is done for 10 mm so we can see our swaying is done correctly again for flaring we have to check that our tube was up to 9.5 mm and we have done flaring so in flaring the upper part of the tube will be expand to required length it must be to 12.5 to 13.5 mm so as we see our flare uh, flaring part is done to 13 to 13.5 mm so we can see it is done correctly another way of checking it is to insert a flaring nut and we have to see that it is up to it is filled the length up to 80 percent of the 45 degree angle depth if it is done correctly if it is uh, matching the requirements then we can show we sure that it is done perfectly so now we'll do the brazing of copper tubes for that we before we have made this swaying part so now we'll do the brazing brazing is the process of joining two copper tubes permanently and flaring is temporary so we'll do brazing part for that we have our copper tubes we need some tools first is a butane gas can and a blow torch we need a lighter also and after doing the brazing we have to quench the braised part for hardening process so we have wet cloth which is wet dipped in water so first we'll fit our copper tube in our vise we have to fit the copper tubes according to our requirement uh, if it is vertically or horizontally we have to fit it according to our need and we are doing the brazing so first we'll blow first we have to adjust the flame that it is not too high or not too low do it then we'll do now we can see now we can see our tube is turning cherry hot red so we have to wait until the tube turns in cherry hot red and we have to heat the filler rod to the breast part now we can see our brazing is done we have to pinch it with wet cloth instantly for hardening now we can see our brazing is done the two copper tubes are joined per permanently and correctly and some safety concerns to observe while doing the brazing never touch the hot copper tube it will burn our hands and while using a butane can never turn it upside down if we turn this like this then the liquid gas liquid will come out and it will cause a blow of fire which can cause heavy damage so we have to observe some safeties and we have to use leather gloves while doing brazing part thank you